Hey, peeps, this is your favorite darling Robert in for Citrus Theater Beat, peeping a peep site. And I'm downtown at the Valerie Theater, and I'm talking today with... Alan Stewart, huge theater enthusiast and soon-to-be world-famous poker player. All right. So, hey, buddy, what, uh, what got you started in the arts? What got you interested in theater? Uh, believe it or not, uh, it was 40, oh, excuse me, no, 36, 37 years ago, I guess. Uh, my uh, mother uh, did not want to leave me and my younger sister at the house for summer. She doesn't get the summers off, you know. So uh, she put us in this theater camp called uh, uh, STEP, Special Talent Enrichment Program. Uh, at first, I thought it was the worst idea in the world. Why the heck do I want to do this? You know, I just want to play video games. Uh, I went, first show we ever did, uh, it was written by uh, uh, Jack Jacket, Christine Jacket, husband and wife. They put on their own Disney type uh, uh, performances. And the first one was Aladdin. And just the audition alone, I got hooked. <laughs> and after that, I, uh, I did every year for the next uh, six years. Wow. Everything, yeah, everything ranging from Lion King to Peter Pan, it, it was something else. Uh, and then uh, after that, high school. Wow! So child star to convicted felon. That, yep, that's yep. kind of like the, the that's the true Hollywood true story. True Hollywood yeah. story right there. <laughs> so now you and I, uh, we did Boeing Boeing back in the day. Uh, yes, that was great a great show. Oh man, yeah. Nothing better than having three women draped over your shoulder. Yeah, that's you know? <laughs> I know you haven't done anything recently. Uh, the last thing I saw you in was uh, at the Valerie Theater, the Valerie Players you did on Golden Pond. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, another wonderful uh, show. Uh, brought back a lot of nostalgia, especially for this uh, town. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoyed playing my role in the uh, uh, son-in-law. <laughs> so I, I know you've been kind of taking a little bit of a break uh, to to get things in order and that, and to win a fortune playing cards. Right, uh, it's um, something that I've been involved with and it, actually I've been able to combine both my theater skills at the table. As you know, there's the term called bluffing. Mm -hmm. It's good to have good acting ability to uh, get those pots that when you know you don't have the cards to do it, you know what I mean? I, so I take that uh, with my skill of the game and uh, it's done me pretty well. You know, I, uh, I pay my bills with it. So what else can you ask for, you know? There you go. So, uh, folks, uh, get your kids into acting. So, But, but stay yeah. in school. Learn the game first. Yeah. <laughs> stay in school. <laughs> Man, um, tell us a little bit about some of the places that you have performed, because you've performed over a pretty wide area locally. Yeah, yeah. As you know, uh, I've lived here uh, almost 22 years now, 23 years, in fact. Uh, yeah, that's a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. And one of the theaters that I found out about was Playhouse 19, oh, Chris oh, River. Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's a bait shop now. <laughs> but uh, man, talk about people with a passion that uh, wanted to bring the community theater back into the community was unreal. They uh, they did great shows like um, Jesus Christ Superstar. Mm -hmm. uh, gosh, I can't remember. Uh, uh, there was the, there was one I played uh, the drummer. Uh, we put a, a band in a, into a show. There was three women, three guys. Guys were the band. The girls were singing, and I played the drums the whole the whole way. <laughs> uh, Jackie, I'm sorry that if I can't remember the show, but I know she's the director of it. Mm -hmm. um, that that was great, great, you know, great times. And then you know, I also went to um, the uh, uh, Citrus Art Center. The Art Center, yeah, yep, right there, in, uh, Citrus Hills. Recently, you were here at the Valerie. That's yes, been, that's been yeah. the last place you played is here at the Valerie. Last place was the Valerie. Uh, that's, you know, uh, uh, Harry does great shows there along with yourself. So uh, you also did some work with Two Pence Production. That was a uh, Tom. Murder, Murder Mystery. Murder Tom, Mystery, Tom, yeah. Tom, yeah. yes, yes. That was also a great, great show. Uh, the best part about, to me, was the audience participation part of it. Uh, they got to guess who the murderer was before the ending was revealed, uh, which plays a role into the community. Again, it's all about bringing the community together and theater is a great, great way to do that. Uh, and what he has done with the audience participation is something uh, I can admire. Oh, let me ask you this. Uh, what would you say to a young person who is interested in art or theater or music or something? What would you say to that person uh, about their potential? 
to be a sponge. Learn everything you can from everyone else. Personalities are, as they say, one in a million. And with us, it's one in a trillion because there's that many out there. Um, perspective is everything to me. And if you, if I could have the power to see the world in someone else's eyes, I would love to have that power because uh, it would bring me more of a realization of why they're doing this, why they are acting this way. But ask questions, be a sponge, take in all the answers, kids. And don't be a jerk. <laughs> that too, that too. <laughs> That's mom and dad's job. Isn't yes. It? <laughs> <laughs> We've been here, talked to my good buddy, Alan, and we would like to thank him for being here on Peep and Peep site. Thank you for tuning in. Alan, great job. Pleasure to be here. Oh, in. yeah. I can't wait to uh, be involved with much more of what you guys do. This is this is awesome. All right. So, folks, as always, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget about View from the Balcony. And as always, we'll save you a seat.